So does your service provider hate your guts? Yes, they do. They fucking hate you. All they want to do is kiss it back, collect your payment, and you keep demanding they give you service. How is that fair? What is a mobile network operator? There are four in the United States that I'm aware of. And they are like this. They are AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. What is a mobile virtual network operator? These are companies like Cricket, MetroPCS, Boost Mobile, Simple Mobile, uh, Straight Talk, Net10. There's tons of them. Now, a few of them have actually branched out to become GSM resellers. In the United States, we have, again, out of the four major carriers, two of them are GSM, which is kind of an international standard, and then two of them are CDMA. Majority of the virtual network operators are CDMA because I guess it's cheaper or something, I'm not sure. But now we have these unlocked GSM phones becoming more and more popular. Uh, most notably, of course, the Nexus series from Google, which are fantastic developer phones. All of them GSM. Um, I have right here, this is my little GSM phone. This is a LG Optimus T from T-Mobile. It is slow, but eventually this will be replaced with a Nexus 4. Come on, tax return. I decided that I don't want to stick with T-Mobile's $30 a month plan because that one only came with 100 talk minutes and unfortunately, as much as I resist it, people still want to make phone calls. So I decided to look elsewhere to a virtual mobile network operator that would offer me excellent GSM service, preferably on T-Mobile's backbone, to my little phone, but give me the unlimited text and data that I want. I read the Android and Me article linked in down below, um, where they compared several of the top GSM prepaid carriers out there. This led me to Solovey. Now my problem with Solovey isn't necessarily Solovey themselves, but the way other people choose to review Solovey. Everyone wants to focus on the multi-level marketing aspect. Now, multi-level marketing is often criticized for being like a pyramid scheme. Companies like Amway and Kirby Vacuum Sweeper and Avon have used these multi-level marketing techniques to sell the product. The idea is they recruit members of the community to sell these products directly to the consumer without having the traditional business brick and mortar middleman. Now, is this a good system? I don't know. Do I care? Not really. Because I'm not really worried about the marketing aspect. Unlike every other review out there, I just care about the fucking service. How is the service on Solove? Pretty good. It is exactly what you think it is. They buy T-Mobile Spectrum and resell it to you for cheaper than you can buy it directly from T-Mobile. I get four gigs of data. After that, I get edge speeds. I get unlimited talk, unlimited text. It's 50 bucks. I have an actual full review that doesn't just say it's great and then wants you to click on the affiliate link. There is an affiliate link, but you don't have to click on it. It's just there because I like being an affiliate. But you don't have to click that link. You can just type in Solove under Google or just right in your strap bar. Read my review. It's a little more in depth than this video because this video was just me standing in front of the camera talking like a jackass, which is like most of my videos if you've been paying attention. Check out my review of Solve, a real review, not just a fluff piece to make you click my affiliate link, but I actually talk about the pros and cons of Solve. So there you go. All right. See you guys later.